episode is about high as the heavens. Let's delve behind the dots. My setting of a couple of verses from Psalm 103, High as the Heavens, was commissioned by Francis Holland School in London. They wanted a setting of a sacred text, but something that was uplifting and joyful and something that would work in the context of a concert as well as of a service. So they're an all-girls school, so it was upper voices that was required. They wanted it to be unaccompanied. And so I chose this text from the Psalms because it's joyful and uplifting. And ever since I first heard it, I've always wanted to set it in a sort of gospel style. So as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. When it came to choosing the right key, sometimes I choose keys based on the mood that a certain key evokes. But sometimes there's a more practical consideration. E major or F major are generally my um, favourite keys for unaccompanied upper voice pieces. That means that my lowest pitch in the lowest line could be an E or an F, which is singable by alto voices. And at the other end of the uh, vocal range, the E's and the F's up here are good for the high sopranos and everything in between. So it gives me a really nice couple of octaves to work with. Then the choice of E or F was quite simple for me because F major always sounds quite churchy to me. Lots of hymns, lots of carols are in F major. And E major for me always sounds brighter, slightly shinier, almost like orange um, in colour for me, E major. And I love, as I said before, I love this uh, texture that you get with upper voices singing in three part parallel gospel style harmony. So I knew that that's how I wanted to set this because it's uplifting. There's a section halfway through where you've got optional claps on the two and four, of course. on our recording with uh, London Voices on Heaven to Earth here, we also added an egg shaker. So if you've got anybody who's nifty with an egg shaker, that's quite fun to add to this texture. So high as the heavens are above the earth, I wanted to start with a little refrain which comes back, which is high, high, high. tune is in the lowest part and the other parts are echoing hi 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 it's quite fun this because it's uh, almost like a call and response sort of a texture but also um, the huh of hi gives the rhythm a little kick at the beginning of each phrase especially with the syncopation hi 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 Hi, hi. It's nice to have that ha huh, really giving some energy at the beginning of those phrases. Then I just got this melody. High as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. Then for verse one, I've got the lower voices singing um, an accompanying ooh, while the upper voices sing, as a father has compassion on his children. Again, very syncopated, only because when you say, as a father has compassion on his children, it comes out syncopated. And I always like to use the rhythms in my melodies which reflect how you speak the words. The downside of this is that on the music itself, on the sheet music, it always looks really complicated because written out syncopations involve lots of slurs and ties and short notes and long notes and it's just confusing to look at. And in many ways, this kind of song is easier to teach by rote as in fact I did last week with the Gloucestershire Youth Choir, because when you just hear it and you mimic it, it's a lot easier sometimes than reading it. And for that reason, I've recorded uh, part learning tracks of all of the pieces that I write, so that if yours is a choir that prefers to learn by rote, then you can certainly do that. You just go to 
www.thestrangemusic.com forward slash shop. Click on CDs and MP3s and then just scroll through until you find the piece that you're learning. There it is, high as the heavens. Click on that and add to cart and that will give you all of the part learning tracks. So for this first verse, as I mentioned, the underneath parts are mostly singing ooh and just supporting the melody, which in this case is in the soprano. But when it comes to important words like compassion, the underneath parts sing those words and then return to their ooh. I love that in backing vocals, in soul songs, in jazz, when you've got the backing parts singing oohs or ahs, but then they join in occasionally for a word. It's a really lovely effect. And then the second verse, I've put the tune in the middle part, because it's nice to be fair. And this is, the life of mortals is like the cross. And because the words are, they flourish like the flower of the field, the wind blows over it, and it is gone. Instead of having just ooh underneath, I've put an H, hoo, hoo, and a little bit of a glissando, so it's evoking the wind. And then finally, um, what I've done is I've combined the high as the heavens are above the earth figure with the high, 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 high that we had at the very beginning. So your choir splits into six part harmony, but not with new music to learn, just as a matter of deciding which of your singers are going to return to the opening figure that they already know, and which ones are going to sing the um, chorus melody and then combine them. And then finally, at the very end, I finish on a ha, ha, first inversion chord right at the top this time for the first time up to the top E so you really get that sense of an uplifting ending. I remember when the choir that I wrote this for first performed it at the Cadogan Hall it was just really wonderful to hear the audience's reaction to the piece. So I hope that this little introduction to High as the Heavens will inspire you to sing it with your upper voice choir. You can find the sheet music at lestrangemusic.com